Radio Raheem here with KSI on the red carpet in Los Angeles. Just a few stone throws from Hollywood. Mm -hmm. You brought this fight all the way from Manchester yep. to the shores of Los Angeles. Yes. Before you decided that you were going to call out Logan Paul and mm -hmm. all this was going to happen, in your mind, did it go this far? Uh, well, I wanted to destroy him in the first fight, and uh, you know I'm upset in myself to allow there to be a rematch. But uh, hey, here we are, and I'll make sure I uh, finish the job. You know, uh, in your doc that we're going to premiere tonight, yeah. I noticed you talked about kind of pulling him back from the brink of uh, obscurity yeah. after scandal and whatnot. Well, I mean, I have. Like, I pretty much saved his career, and now I'm going to end it. It's Why did you thing. save it in the first place? Because uh, I needed to take his audience from him. That's it. It was strategic. I needed to use his audience and, you know, make it mine. And now that I've done that, used them up, I'm now going to spit him out into the trash can, so... You talk about your dis trash can. <laughs> the Americans uh, rub it off on me. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, yeah. You talk about uh, being uh, disappointed at the draw. Yeah, yeah. It appeared that Logan Paul started very early, started fast. It was difficult for you to catch up with him till the second half of the fight. Well, it wasn't that I was struggling to catch up with him. I had to like digest the information. Let's say, you know, if it was a real 12 round fight, you know, I had the first two rounds to see what you know he was like how he fought you know what tendencies he had it took me a time to you know really understand what who i was fighting because i didn't have any previous information and as soon as i got that round three round four round five round six i destroyed him so no headgear 10 yeah. ounce gloves mm -hmm. that information that data may not compute in this new professional arena yeah yeah but you... i mean it doesn't matter like i can take hits and i hit hard so that's a, that's a scary thing, especially when I have the stamina of a stallion, man. Like, I, I just don't stop. I keep going. Do you feel like your technical proficiency in boxing is your strength or is it your tenacity and unwillingness to give up? Uh, I mean, it's it's both. Like, with, the first, with my technical, um, well, technically, I felt like I needed to improve. And that's why we worked on it the whole year. And obviously, I've always got heart. My stamina is always on uh, on point I've always got power so you know pretty much we we knew what we already had so you know we worked on that to make sure they were even a, you know to improved on an even higher level and now yeah pretty much it's just making sure that my technique is on point and now that we got that sorted we're ready and lastly uh, Logan Paul's personal issues are well documented everybody knows about that yeah. after the first fight I was in the locker room with you I was in the locker room with Desi yeah he seemed really emotional about the fight he wanted to fight again and a lot of the people online are like where's his little brother where's that guy you had such an emotional attachment to this can you speak to a little bit about where you two are and what's happening there uh, I mean we're no, nah, I'd rather not talk about that, actually. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, without being specific, then okay. just... Uh, uh, well, I mean, with the fight, when, when it comes to the fighting, uh, you know, he he obviously did his thing. You know, it worked hard. He could have done... I personally thought he could have destroyed Jake. If he really trained hard, he could have destroyed Jake. And uh, he didn't really train as hard as he should have. And, you know, that's on him. But... Uh, you know, he's got it in him and he can always fight whenever he wants to. If anything, I feel like he can be better than me, so. Yeah. What has this, this year been, like, meant to you after? This is a newfound level of fame. Now you're a professional in a brand new sport that nobody anticipated. Mm. Uh, the fame, the money, this thing with your family, how has yeah. it grown you and changed you as a man? Well, I mean, it's matured me a lot and I feel like, you know, with all my life, I've always, you know, changed pe people's opinions. Like, a lot of people think, oh, you can't do this, you can't do that, and then I do it. So that's the exact same thing that's going to happen this Saturday. What's the one thing that boxing has given you that you didn't have before that first fight? Uh, insane mental game. Insane mental game. Mentally, I've just reached a whole new level. I keep saying it because it's true. Like, it doesn't even matter. It, all this physicality doesn't mean anything. It's all, all up in here, so... Yeah. We'll see the clash of the brains and the bronze this Saturday night at the Staples Center on DAZN. Radio Raheem with KSI facing Logan Paul this Saturday on DAZN. Pleasure to talk to you. Good luck Saturday night. Radio Raheem with KSI.